Hello guys, a very good evening everyone. Welcome to the session and welcome to your favorite live learning platform that is the Baidu Hello guys, exam. A very good evening everyone. Yes. All right. So let's get continued with our previous year questions discussion. Okay, GATE 2024 previous year questions discussions. We are, uh, you know, uh, the GATE to previous year questions for the last three years, that is 2021, 22 and 23, as I have been telling you, the last years, the previous years are more important for looking into the trends, for looking into the difficulty level. And of course, it's a good source of practice. And in this session, we are discussing, okay, and practicing the questions of what? Of the control systems. Okay. Today we will discuss it for the EC branch. Today we are going to discuss it for what? For the EC branch. Okay. And then next <coughs> we'll discuss for double E. Okay. So although it is a common subject, you know, you know, you should be watching both the sessions, whether it is EC or double E. It's a common, you need to have to practice of all sorts of question. Okay. So whether it is EC or double E branch, all the students can watch this session, even uh, instrumentation, of course. Okay. Very, very good evening, all. Good evening, Ashok. Okay, G. so let's get started. Let's get moving ahead. This is a just regular introduction. Let's move ahead, guys. So guys, you can also be connected, uh, you know, with me in my telegram group and like all other sessions, you will get the PDF of today's session also, but you know, in my telegram group and also not only for PDF for updates about other class for upcoming PSU vacancies for upcoming uh, updates about gate exam for any doubt discussions, you can be connected in my telegram group. The link is mentioned here. I'll also share the link in the chat box after some time. So let's get started guys with the first question gate 2021 EC one mark question here it is. Okay, starting with the simple one, the block diagram reduction. The block diagram of a feedback control system is shown in the figure. Okay, uh, what is the transfer function of the system? Okay, what should be the transfer function of the system? So very simply, it's it's very simple to realize that you are getting a loop here as well. Or what you can simply do is, okay, what you can simply do is, let's, uh, okay, let's convert into the graph as well, the regular habit that students usually have. This is the input point x. Okay, and there's the input point x and then I take the summing point. Okay, then I go to the takeoff point and in between I have the gain that is g1. Okay, takeoff point and then I have another summing point. Okay, followed by the output node that is the y. Okay, the output node. Now the output of uh, this takeoff point from the g1 goes to this summing point and negative feedback. So how do we adjust the negative feedback in the graph? We write it with the gain, the minus of h. Okay, minus of h. Now output of this summing point is also going directly to this final summing point. That means it is going to take off and land here directly and the gain of this particular forward path that's also in the forward direction that is the g2. Okay, that is what that is just the g2. Okay. So now to go from the input to the output, whatever gains I have not written, of course, it is by default unity. So to go from the input to the output, okay, what are the forward paths available? Okay, what are the forward paths available? Okay, the y by x will be solved by definitely the Mason's gain formula. Summation p k del k is divided by delta. Okay, is divided by the graph determinant. Okay, so how many loops you have by the way here? Okay, just only and only one loop is being built here. That is the g1 and minus h. That is the loop l1. Okay, so there is only one loop that is g1 multiplied by minus h. Okay. Right, because you know you can't make any loop using this because you can't travel opposite of arrow. Okay, you can only travel in the direction of arrow. So there is one loop gain minus G1H. So what is the graph determinant? One minus sum of all the loop gains plus product of pair of pairs or triplets will only come. Will only come if you have non-touching loops. But here touching non-touching ki baat hi nahi hai because there is only one loop. Na? So there is no point of touching or non-touching. Okay, so the graph determinant is one plus G1H. The graph determinant is 1 plus G1H. Now, what are the forward paths? Okay, what are the forward paths? Okay, so there is definitely one forward path that is through the branch G1. Okay, so one of the forward path is G1. All other gains is 1. So it's like 1 into G1 into 1 into 1. Another forward path can take you towards G2. Okay, so 1, G2, 1. Okay, so that is also G2. So the another forward path gain will be G2. Okay. Okay, so there are the two forward path gains G1 and G2. Achha, what about their path factor? What about the path factor if I erase the path 1? If I erase the first path, okay. What is the path factor? It is the graph determinant obtained of the remaining graph. 
Okay, so remaining graph has no loops. All the loops are open. So when there is no loop at all, only the delta will be equal to 1. Only the delta will be equal to what? 1. Okay, then if I erase the, sorry. If I erase the second forward path, ye lije. I now erase the second forward path. Still, is there any loop left? No, the node is open here. Still, there is no loop left. The node is open here. The node is open here. And hence again, since there is no going to no loop, so the delta will again be equal to what? It is equal to 1 only. It is equal to what? It is equal to the 1 only. Okay, ji? That is equal to the 1. Done. So now that means, that means y by x is simply going to be g1 multiplied by 1, g2 multiplied by 1, both the path factors are 1, divided by 1 plus g1h. It is simply g1 plus g2 is divided by 1 plus g1h. Clear? g1 plus g2 is divided by 1 plus g1h. See, for explanation, of course, we take little bit time, but these are the questions which can be solved in seconds. Right. Correct answer, Ashok. Good evening, dreamer. Right. So, usually, you know, when you're solving on, on, on self basis, it will be very simple, actually. Okay. Let's move ahead to the next question. <coughs> Let's move ahead to the next question. Here it is. Again, 2023 EC2 marks. 2023 current year 2023 EC2 marks question in the following block diagram RS and DS are two inputs usually DS for disturbance input RS for the actual inputs but whatever there are two inputs RS and DS what is the output it is expressed as G1R plus G2G okay the G1 and G2 are given by you can apply superposition here basically you can apply the superposition here that means first of all you can calculate the transfer function Y by R okay by taking D equal to 0 by taking d equal to 0 okay so if you take the d equal to 0 if you take the d equal to 0 okay then what you are left with there is no need of this input it is just added with the 0 so only these two nodes will be required so here only okay here only let me just erase this na isko hata dete. let me just show you by erasing it i think that should be sufficient okay let us erase this okay and now let's try to uh, let's try to solve it up now if i try to solve it up now, if I try to solve it up, there is one loop, okay, directly write down the formula. Now, what is this loop? Okay, that is G upon 1 plus GSHS. It's a, it's a closed loop with negative feedback. So, G upon 1 plus GH. G upon 1 plus GH. Clear? Now, now, what is going to happen? There is one more. This is a nested loop case. Okay. This G upon 1 plus GH, once again connected, okay, in unity negative feedback, in unity negative feedback okay in unity negative feedback so what is going to be the final transfer function okay now again g upon 1 plus gh if i apply to so g upon 1 plus gh forward path gain divided by 1 plus g upon 1 plus gh is multiplied by 1 because the final feedback path is unity solving it completely i should be getting g upon 1 plus gh plus g okay and this is what is g1 okay because chalo isko baad mein bol denge. Okay, we will call it later. This is y by r. Okay, this is y by r. Okay. Okay. Number of means what number you want to mention? How many you want to mention? You can apply superposition still, but if anything elaborate you want to tell me, Ashok. Now next, next I can go for y by d by considering r equal to 0. Okay, y by d considering r equal to 0. So, what that is going to be? So, now I will consider r equal to 0. Let me remove this. Let me remove this. Okay, now the input r will be 0, but d will be as it is. Okay, so you can take this as 0. And if you take this as 0, there is actually no need of this particular summing point. Okay, because, because what is now going to happen? What is now going to happen? Okay, this was r, but now this is 0. And this is something suppose, uh, hey, this is something suppose w. So, what reaches here is minus w now, 0 minus w. Okay, so what you can do is you can take this as w only and minus you better put it here. By what is entering here? Plus of minus w. So, why to write plus of minus w? Better minus w. So, make this as minus and usko plus hi denge. So, what is effectively going to happen then? What is effectively going to happen then? Then still you have this g path. Okay, that feedback will still be there feedback gain h okay this enters here with minus this is the input d okay 
this goes here and now there is one more signal that is going to enter here with the minus sign okay with the minus sign and what is this w this is coming up from the output only so once again guys solve this okay what is this this is again negative feedback okay this is negative feedback again okay you can if you want you can split this summing point into multiples okay you want you can split this multiple point is this summing point into multiple so for your sake of clarity i'll do that as well this may be no issue nahi hai. so what you can do is maybe if you want you can take another summing point okay another summing point okay just my input r tha r ko zero kar diya hai anyways but if i solve it huh? no need okay directly solve ho so no need to go for it okay this is just minus okay so dear what to do next <coughs> okay this is again going to be g upon 1 plus gh directly i am solving g upon 1 plus gh okay now again connected in negative unity feedback it's identical only basically na? again connected in the negative unity feedback so divided by 1 plus g upon 1 plus gh and that to negative feedback only it remains to be negative feedback only okay is multiplied by what it is multiplied by the one it is multiplied by one okay so uh, we suspect the similar answer here and that is g upon 1 plus gh plus g g is divided by the 1 plus gh plus g let me just recheck it once yeah that was d it's removed was removed with minus but it's not going to affect the answer if i solve this okay i think all okay yeah minus mein tha isliye there isn't any effect correct correct hai okay ji done hai done hai okay so uh, what is my answer eventually maybe what you can do is i think they are coming to be same only isme kahin koi problem hi nahi hai theek hai done hai acha what you can sometimes also try is isko remove bhi kare to see if this is r okay this is directly y okay y goes here y goes here this is r this is definitely r minus y this is r minus y if this is y this becomes hy we can make it even more simpler Okay, many a times because here we have to solve it in two steps. Okay, here we have to solve it in two steps. So now let us talk about one more thing. Okay, what is going to be the signal coming up here? D. Okay, plus what is coming from here? R minus Y. Okay, what is coming from here? Minus HY. Minus HY. Now this is going to be multiplied by G and that will give you the final answer. So Y is equal to G multiplied by D plus R minus Y minus HY. Okay, let's try to open it. Okay, y. Okay, let me just recheck it here. This is h y. This is just minus y. R minus y. Perfect. Okay, r minus y. Now this d plus r minus y minus h y whole multiplied by g will give the final answer. Okay, so what is the y equivalent to now? Y is equal to g d. Okay, plus let us combine the next term that is g r. Okay, okay, minus g y minus g h y okay minus g h y okay so y bring the y terms on one side to so 1 plus g plus g h is equal to g d plus g r okay so what is y g upon 1 plus g h plus g h into r plus g upon 1 plus g plus g h is multiplied by d so ye ho gaya iska alternate method Okay, see one, one line you are able to see. No need to solve. Okay, no need to solve in two different steps. Okay, I have just given you an alternate method. Anyways, from both the places we are getting the similar answer. But here also you see. Okay, the output is expressed as what? G1R plus G2D. Okay, this is the G1, this is the G2 which are equal G upon 1 plus G plus GH. Okay, G upon 1 plus G plus GH, option number A. Got this everybody? Option number A. Both are equal. Both are equal here. This is the alternate way of solving it. Okay, hope you have got this. Okay. Huh, tell me, career impact. 
करियर इलेबोरेट योर डाउट वॉट डू एक्जैक्टली वॉन्ट टू आस्क ठीक है जी डन है नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन ओके टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी टू ई सी टू मार्क्स अगेन द ब्लॉक डायग्राम ऑफ अ क्लोज लूप कंट्रोल सिस्टम इज शोन इन द फिगर आर एस वाई एस डी एस एट द लपलास ट्रांसफॉर्म ऑफ द टाइम डोमेन सिग्नल आर टी वाई टी एंड डी टी रेस्पेक्टिवली लेट द एर सिग्नल भी डिफाइंड एज ई टी इज इक्वल टू आर टी माइनस वाई टी अज्यूमिंग द रेफरेंस इनपुट आर टी इक्वल टू जीरो फॉर ऑल टी द स्टडी स्टेट एर ई इन्फिनिटी ड्यू टू यूनिट स्टेप डिस्टर्बेंस डी टी ओके द स्टडी स्टेट एर ई इन्फिनिटी ड्यू टू यूनिट स्टेप डिस्टर्बेंस ओके दैट इज नोन एज द डी टी अच्छा अब देखो okay et is clearly defined as rt minus yt okay but now they are telling let's take the reference input as zero okay so so yahan pe dhyan dena et is rt minus yt which is currently minus yt because i have taken the rt equal to zero so even if you move to the s domain es will be equal to the minus ys okay now once again okay isko kar diya zero okay and if this is zero once again what is affect i told you what is the signal coming from here okay this is suppose w so here what you get is minus w okay so what is this output it is 10 into minus w that is better minus 10 w that is better so always whatever minus is there now you can remove this summing point because one of the variable coming is zero adjust the minus with the gain adjust the minus with the gain so what is your affective block diagram that is going to be there is a forward path gain 1 upon s s plus 10 okay uh, let me just rearrange this this is the disturbance input okay this goes to the summing point this disturbance input is going to the summing point okay output going to the block 1 upon s s plus 10 this is the output y okay from here there is a unity feedback okay but now this is removed there will be a complete loop write down this gain as minus 10 actually write down this gain as minus 10 so in the feedback path there is a minus 10 gain coming okay and then it comes to this summing point in the plus format only so this is like positive feedback actually what you can also do is you can adjust the gain minus even forward so that will be negative feedback whatever okay so what is y by d now okay what is the y by d okay that is equal to g upon 1 minus gh because positive feedback hai okay 1 minus gh Okay, one minus here. So ultimately, minus minus will be plus, and you will be getting one upon s s plus ten. So multiply here s square plus ten s plus ten. Okay. So what is the error signal now? Okay, minus of y. So y will be equal to minus one upon s square plus ten s plus ten multiplied by the d s input. Okay, now what is the DS input given to me? It's a decent question, 2022 two marks. Okay, now what is the DS input given to me? Is the unit step disturbance? Okay, the unit step di disturbance is given to me. Okay, so what is going to be DS one upon S? The Laplace domain uh, is going to be one upon S. So substitute here. So eventually the error signal is minus. Okay, minus one by S into one upon S square plus ten S plus ten. But what we need is the steady state error. okay or e infinity okay and that is limit t tending to infinity et but if i apply the final value theorem that is limit s tending to inf sorry limit s tending to 0 s multiplied by es okay so this is going to be limit of s tending to 0 okay s is multiplied by minus 1 by s into 1 upon S square plus 10s plus 10. So S2 is clearly cancelled. Answer is minus 1 and S tending to 0. So minus 1 by 10. Your answer is simply minus 0.1. Your answer is minus 0.1. Minus 0.1. Done? Eh? Cool. Let's be ready for the next question then. Okay, minus zero point one numerical answer type question. It was two thousand twenty two two marks. Two thousand twenty three two marks. Simple question for for two marks. This coming question is simple. Yes, Ashok. And look into the sign also minus or plus. Okay, it's minus point one. Okay, a closed loop system is shown in the figure where k is positive and alpha greater than zero. Okay, the steady state error due to ramp input. Okay, due to ramp input and it's a unity feedback. Okay, since it's unity feedback. Okay, and the G S is equal to K by S S plus two. 
Okay, so since it is unity feedback, we can define the type of the system directly. We can define the type type one because the type is what number of poles of GS at origin if it is unity feedback configuration. So yes, the S power one is. Okay, so it is type one. Clear? It is type one. Okay. Now because it is type one. Okay. Because it is type one, and we need to calculate the error due to unit unit ramp input alpha by s square. Unit ramp ni unit ramp hota the one by s square hota. Okay. So if it is unit ramp input, then the steady state error is given by one upon k v. One upon k v. ठीक है. But यहाँ पे जो ramp input है यहां पे जो रैंप इनपुट है दैट इज गिवन टू यू एज अल्फा बाय एस स्क्वायर नाउ व्हाट इज यूनिट रैंप 1 अपॉन एस स्क्वायर ठीक है बट हियर इट इज अल्फा बाय एस स्क्वायर एंड यू कैन जस्ट अप्लाई द स्केलिंग प्रॉपर्टी लीनियरिटी प्रॉपर्टी बेसिकली ओके एंड व्हिच सेज दैट इफ द इनपुट इज मल्टीप्लाइड बाय अ सर्टेन नंबर आउटपुट विल आल्सो बी मल्टीप्लाइड बाय सेम नंबर सो देयर डिफरेंस आर माइनस सी व्हिच इज द एरर आल्सो मल्टीप्लाइड बाय द सेम नंबर द स्टडी स्टेट एरर विल बी जस्ट अल्फा बाय केवी will be just alpha by kv now kv you all know is limit s tending to 0 s multiplied by gs already very good you have the unity feedback connection so s multiplied by gs which is k by s s plus 2 s cancelled answer is k by 2 that is the kv so now alpha is divided by k by 2 here substitute kia to 2 alpha by k should be the final answer 2 alpha by k should be the final answer 2 alpha by k that is option number a is the final answer that is the 2 alpha by k two alpha by k done eh? okay next question this was, this was easy for two marks actually next question yeah this is also a tangent uh, basic question 2022 ec2 marks 2022 EC2 marks and as far as I remember this was a MSQ question this was a MSQ question okay so two linear time invariant systems with the transfer function g1 g2 have unit step response y1 y2 which of the following statement is or are true y1 y2 have same percentage peak overshoot have the same steady state value have the same damped frequency of oscillation have the same two percent settling time okay very simple okay let me write down what is their transfer function it is 10 is divided by s square plus s plus 1 okay and next is 10 Achha, isko main aise bhi likh deta hun, that is 10 is multiplied by 1 omega n square upon s square plus 2 zeta omega n s plus omega n square okay to make it you know simply solvable 10 into omega n square upon s square plus 2 zeta omega n s plus omega n square this simply means that the value of omega n square is 1 that means omega n is also 1 omega n is 1 okay now 2 zeta omega n okay so you have the 2 into zeta into omega n which is already 1 corresponding to how much here that is 1 so what should be the zeta is 1 by 2 what should be the zeta is 1 by 2 okay is the 1 by 2 okay now for the second system Achha, now if it is the standard second order transfer function omega n square upon s square plus 2 zeta omega n s plus omega n square okay the steady state value of it is 1 under under damped condition okay because it is under damped condition under damped condition so what is the steady state value steady state value if it is the prototype transfer function omega n square upon s square plus 2 zeta omega n s plus omega n square that is 1 but it is multiplied by a gain 10 so it will be 10 into 1 that is 10 or you can find by the final value theorem you can find by the final value theorem okay Achha, let me also take up g2 right now and then let's compare the parameters that is 10 upon s square plus root 10 s s square plus root 10 s plus 10 okay so omega n square wala format already here. this is directly omega n square upon s square plus 2 zeta omega n s plus omega n square and this simply means that omega n square is 10 that means omega n is root 10 here okay 
Now at the same time coming to this term that is 2 into zeta into omega n which is root 10 and this is given to you as root 10. So what is the zeta? It is again 1 by 2. Okay, zeta is 1 by 2. Achha, if zeta is 1 by 2, again it is representing underdamped case and underdamped case steady state value will be 1. It finally, it, it fluctuates and settles to the value of 1. It is prototype. There is no extra gain here. Okay, so what is its steady state value? Because it is the standard prototype form, it's going to be 1. Theke. Or you can find by final value theorem. Theke. Now, dekho. Okay, they have the same peak percentage overshoot. Okay, yes. No need to calculate. You don't have to prove they have same overshoot. But you should know that the overshoot only depends on zeta. Okay, so because both of them have the same zeta, because have the same zeta, that is why they have asked percentage peak overshoot. Okay, of course, the exact peak value of both will differ because one of them having the steady state value 10, another one is having what? It is having the 1. But percentage peak overshoot will remain the same percentage peak overshoot will remain the same. Yes, because of same beta, percentage peak overshoot will remain the same. Okay, they have the same steady state value? No. Already we have proved that. They have the same damned frequency of oscillation and they have the same 2% settling time. So, let's take a look. 2% settling time for under damped. 2% settling time for under damped. Formula is 4 by zeta omega n. Formula is 4 by zeta omega n. So, 4 by zeta half omega n different hai. Okay, so it cannot be the same. Okay, this is 8 seconds and the settling time for the next one. Again, the formula 4 by zeta omega n, that is the formula for underdamped response. 4 by half, but omega n is root 10. So, this is going to be 8 is divided by root 10, not equal. It is not equal. It is not equal. Okay, so they have the same 2% settling time? No. Okay, they have the same damned frequency of oscillation. Okay, omega d is omega n root 1 minus zeta square. Chalo guys, calculate karne ka need nahi hai. Okay, suppose this is omega d1. Omega d1 is omega n1, 1 minus zeta square. Zeta common hai. But what is omega d2? That will be omega n2 root over 1 minus zeta. Zeta is still common. So, because... This portion is common, but omega n2 does not equal to omega n1. So, this is not equal to omega d1. No need to calculate. So, damned frequency also does not equal no. So, it was a MSQ question as far as I remember, but only one option matching and that is quite possible. We have seen uh, even one option correct is possible in MSQ. MSQ means one or more than one correct. As Hani Bola, more than one correct. One or more than one can be correct. Option number A here is, but the rest it was finally MSQ or not. I will recheck and confirm to you. Aisa mujhe yaad aara hai, but okay. Next question, dear. What should be the next question? Okay. Yeah. So, guys, before I go to the next question, okay, some quick updates for you that like if you are enjoying these practice sessions, of course, you are watching it live on YouTube right now, but you can have several practice sessions on the Baiju's app as well, including live practice and including practice quizzes, okay, which you can attempt at your time. Okay, and you can choose any of your topic of favorite interest and daily put up a habit of attempting quizzes. Okay, so for all your gate preparation, for all more practice, uh, the Baiju's app can also help you download it from the Google Play Store or there is a link in the description of the video. You can directly download it using the link. You can directly download it using the link. Okay, done. Next question. Consider an even polynomial given s power 4 plus 5 s square plus 4 plus k. Even polynomial, all odd terms are missing. Okay, where k is an unknown real parameter. What is the complete range of k for which ps has all its roots on imaginary axis? ps has all its roots on the imaginary axis. Come on, do it up quickly. Do it up quickly. Just allow me. Okay, yes, 
so a decent moderate question for two marks nothing so difficult here okay so it's a it's a directly a even polynomial equation so we'll start with the Routh array to solve this question s power 4 and s cube okay s power 4 1 alternate coefficient s power 2 ka 5 and then the constant term 4 plus k yeah let me write it as k plus 4 okay but there is no odd coefficient there is no odd coefficient to straight away straight away means just straight away what you are getting is a row of 0 isn't it what you are just getting is the row of 0 straight away you are getting a row of 0 and whenever there is a row of 0 there is going to be auxiliary equation from the row which is above the row of 0 so auxiliary equation is as it is the characteristic equation given s power 4 then 5 s square then plus k plus 4 equal to 0 now we differentiate this Okay, we know how to deal with the auxiliary equation and row of zeros. Now, we are going to differentiate this. This becomes 4s cube, 5 to the 10s. Okay, that's it, equal to 0. Okay, that means what should be the modified s power 3 row? We call it as the modified s power 3 row and that will contain the coefficients 4 and 10 and 0. Okay, now let's move forward. Okay, let's move forward. Yeah, you can make it simple also. You can also convert it to the form of, okay. 2s cube plus 5s equal to 0 dividing by 2 okay 2s cube okay you can take 2 common this may difference nahi hai. so I, let me write it as 250 for easing out the calculations otherwise both are okay now s power 2 okay so 2 5 is a 10 minus 5 10 by 5 5 by 2 okay 2 into k plus 4 divide by k plus 4 divide by 2 to k plus 4 last element of a row is anyway 0 okay s power 1 row Okay, 5 by 2 into 5, that is 25 by 2 minus twice of k plus 4 is divided by 5 by 2. Okay, it's divided by 5 by 2. So, let's simplify kiya jaye. Chalo, thikhe, let it be. Now, the entire column is 0. So, here element 0, last element anyway is 0. S power 0 term. S power 0 term x into k divided by x. So, suppose only k plus 4 is left. Okay, this column 0, so 0 aega. Last element of a row is always and always 0. Done? Hai? Okay. Yes, yes, Mayuri. Correct. Differentiation. Chalo, done. Hai. Now, what you need is, okay, the complete range of k for which the PS, this polynomial has all the roots on imaginary axis. Has all the roots on imaginary axis. Take Ab dekho, there is a funda of auxiliary equation. Okay. There is a funda of auxiliary equation. For auxiliary equation, remember, okay, number of LHP roots and number of RHP roots is always equal because of what? Because of symmetry. Because of symmetry. Auxiliary equation will always have symmetric roots. The number of LHP roots is always equal to number of RHP roots and equal to what? Equal to number of sign changes. Okay. Number of sign changes, of course. Of course and of course in the first column, okay, okay, below the auxiliary equation. Of course, I am only looking into the auxiliary equation roots. Okay, of course, I am only looking into auxiliary equation roots. Okay, Achha, ab yahan pe important thing here is, okay, here auxiliary equation is equal to the actual characteristic equation. That is the polynomial P s equal to 0. So, whatever I tell for auxiliary equation that is applicable for that given polynomial equation also. Okay. Now, we want, we want all the roots on imaginary axis. Okay. Now, okay. Actually, how do you calculate imaginary axis root? Let's say number of LHP roots L. Let's say number of RHP roots is R. Okay. L and R are equal. Okay, L and R are equal. Okay, so uh, how many J omega, how many J omega roots? That is given by how many J omega roots? The order of the equation. Suppose it is the nth order. Okay, minus the number of roots on the L and R. Okay, or we can write it as L minus N minus 2 R. Because L and R are equal. Okay, but for all roots on the imaginary axis, all roots on the imaginary axis, Okay, what do you want? R equal to 0. Sare ke sare, all the n roots. 
Okay, all the n roots. Here n means 4. Here it is a fourth order polynomial. Here it is a fourth order polynomial. Okay, so you want all roots on imaginary axis. So there should not be any right hand root. Okay, of the auxiliary equation. That means below the auxiliary equation. That means in this particular segment, there should not be any sign change. Okay, th this should be positive. Okay, so what I should be getting it. What I should be getting is. Okay, let's take another slide here. Just a moment. What I should be getting this particular term 25 by 2 minus twice of k plus 4 should be greater than 0. Okay, that means twice of k plus 4 should be less than 25 by 2. k plus 4 is less than the 25 by 4. Okay, so k is less than how much? 25 by 4 minus 4 and this will correspond to uh, 20 of 16, 9 by 4. ठीक है. And one more thing, no sign change. मतलब k plus 4 should also be positive. Okay, k plus 4 should also be positive. तो k should be greater than minus 4. So if I combine both of them, okay, minus k should be greater than minus 4, but less than 9 by 4. So this is the range of k. Minus 4 से 9 by 4. Minus 4 से 9 by 4. Option number A. Minus 4 say 9 by 4. That is the option number A. That will work here. Okay. Option number A dear. Correct answer is option number A. 2022 EC2 marks. Okay. Decent question you can say. Okay. Moving ahead to the next question. Here it is. 2021 EC2 marks. Good question here. This one is a good question. Dekh lete isko. A unity feedback system that uses proportional integral PI control is shown in the figure. The stability of the overall system is controlled by tuning the PI control parameters KP and KI. The maximum value of KI that can be chosen so as to keep the overall system stable or in the worst case marginally stable. Stable or in the worst case marginally stable. That is okay, boundary condition. Okay, what should be the maximum value of Ki? Okay, to ensure this. It's not, see, they, they have used the PI controller here. Okay, this is the proportional part. This is the integral part. Ultimately, it's a PI controller. But this question is more on stability. That means, okay, it's, it's on RH criteria. The range of K for the system to be stable or worst case marginally stable. You can do it by RH. For RH, I need the final characteristic equation. Okay, for RH, I need the final characteristic equation. So, what is the final characteristic equation? Okay. This part is your PI gain of the PI controller. Okay, so what is the overall characteristic equation here? Okay, 1 plus GSHS equal to 0. So GS itself is KP plus KI by S whole multiplied by 2 is divided by S cube plus 4S square plus 5S plus 2. And this should be equal to 0. 1 plus GSHS equal to 0. Simplifying it, be careful, it will become the S power 4 term, I think. S power 4 plus 4s cube plus 5s square plus 2s yaha pe aagya skp into 2 to 2kps plus ki into 2 to plus 2ki should be equal to the 0 should be equal to the 0 okay Chalo. then this is what it is s power 4 plus 4s cube plus 5s square plus 2s plus 2kp plus 2ki 2kps S miss ho gaya. 2 kp s correct plus 2 ki Achha, s ke terms ko agar combine kar le hum log actually okay so this will be 2 plus 2 kp into s okay so now if i feed it into the route array with the first two rows s power 4 s power 3 to s power 4 1 and 5 and directly 2 ki okay you have 1 you have the 5 and you have the 2 ki correct and then s cube okay the 4 and 2 plus 2 kp 4, 2 plus 2 kp, okay, 2 plus 2 kp, whole multiplied by s, you can write, and nothing means 0, s square, okay, 20 minus 2, 18, 18 minus 2 kp, divide by 4, 4 into 2 ki, divide by 4, so this is 2 ki, last element anyway is 0, okay, s power 1 row, x into, ye thoda sa expression banega, to I'll need to write it, 18 minus 2 kp into 4, divide by 4, multiplied by 2 plus 2 kp, minus 4 to the 8 ki, is whole divided by 18 minus 2 kp is divided by 4, 
ओके नाउ इसको थोड़ा सा राइट शिफ्ट ही कर देते हैं दिस वॉज फाइव एंड दिस वॉज टू के आई करेक्ट फाइव एंड टू के आई एंड देन यू हैड फोर टू प्लस टू के पी एंड जीरो और यहां पे क्या आया था फोर इन टू दिस डिवाइड बाई फोर दिस वॉज टू के आई जीरो अच्छा जी ठीक है दिस इज वन पर्टिकुलर टर्म नाउ दिस इज गोइंग टू बी जीरो बिकॉज द कॉलम इज जीरो लास्ट एलिमेंट ऑलवेज जीरो लेट्स कम टू द लास्ट रो एस पावर जीरो एक्स इन टू के आई डिवाइडेड बाई एक्स टू दो दिस इज टू के आई ओके दिस इज जीरो बिकॉज अगेन यहाँ पे जीरो है एंड लास्ट एलिमेंट ऑफ अ रो इज एनी वे जीरो दिस इज द कंप्लीट आर एच दिस इज द कंप्लीट राउथ हर एच ठीक है अब मार्जिनली स्टेबल सिस्टम के बारे में सोचना है ओके यू हैव टू थिंक अबाउट मार्जिनली स्टेबल सिस्टम वॉट इज रिक्वायर्ड फॉर मार्जिनली स्टेबल सिस्टम ओके मार्जिनली स्टेबल इफ यू हैव अ जे ओमेगा पेयर ओके यू हैव अके यू हैव अ जे ओमेगा पेयर ओके अ जे ओमेगा पेयर कन कैन कम इफ यू हैव रो ऑफ जीरो एंड रो ऑफ जीरो इज ऑलवेज इन द ऑर्ड पावर रो ओके सो यू कैन मेक दिस पर्टिकुलर टर्म एज इक्वल टू वॉट एज इक्वल टू जीरो ओके यू कैन मेक दिस पर्टिकुलर टर्म एज इक्वल टू जीरो दैट इज वन पॉसिबिलिटी क्लियर यू हैव टू मेक दिस पर्टिकुलर टर्म इक्वल टू जीरो एंड देन वी विल सी वॉट इज द मैक्सिमम वैल्यू ऑफ के पी और के आई वॉट एवर दे आर आस्किंग ओके वॉट एवर दे आर आस्किंग अच्छा ऑल्सो ओके देर इज वन जे ओमेगा पेयर एंड ओके देर इज वन जे ओमेगा पेयर दैट मीन्स वी नीड अ आर ओजी We need a ROZ and also no sign change in first column. देखो even if there, even if there is a J omega pair, but if there is a sign change in first column, that also gives a RHP root. Okay, marginally stable means a J omega pair and others in LHP because even if a single RHP, then nothing matters. System is unstable. So we don't want instability. We want stable or worst case marginally stable. Okay, so no sign change in first column. So there are the two conditions that you have going to solve from here. No sign change. No sign change. No sign change. So this plus is this plus is. Okay. So what we need is 18 minus 2 kp. Okay, should be positive. Okay, number two. 2 ki should be positive ye to anyways positive bola hai kya by default it should be positive only okay because they are the gain of the controllers okay but still let me write down for the clarity 2 ki is also positive and third important condition is isko zero karenge roz is only in the odd power roz is only in the odd power row to so, s power 1 row ko main target kar raha hu s power 1 row okay so that is going to be 18 minus 2 kp okay divide by 4 multiplied by 2 plus 2 kp multiplied by 2 plus 2 kp minus 8 ki should be equal to 0 acha to yahan se 18 minus 2 kp is greater than 0 giving you the condition that kp should be less than 9 ye bhi ek condition hai kp should be less than 9 okay now let's solve this third equation actually you know jo equal to 0 bola gaya hai what is the maximum value of ki ye pucha hai na theek hai so let me write down this equation so what is the equation i am getting 18 minus 2 kp divided by 4 okay into 2 plus 2 kp will be equal to 8 ki will be equal to 8 ki so what is the value of 8 ki further solving it up yahan se two common nikal ke cancel kiya okay so that is 9 minus kp from the other term also if i take two common so it is cancelled so it is 1 plus kp what is the ki then Solving it up completely, the Ki will be one upon eight. This will be rearranging it. So minus Kp square. Yeah, sequence me likh dete. Okay, this is nine. Nine Kp minus Kp. So nine minus one, eight Kp, and then minus of Kp square. Okay, what we need is what is the maximum value of Ki? For maximum minima, what will you start? For maximum minima, you will start the derivative term. डी के आई बाई डी के पी इक्वल टू जीरो वाई इज अ फंक्शन ऑफ एक्स डी वाई बाई डी एक्स इक्वल टू जीरो सो वन अपॉन एट ओके नाइन का डेरेवेटिव जीरो एट के पी डेरेवेटिव एट माइनस एक्स स्क्वायर डेरेवेटिव टू एक्स दिस शुड बी इक्वल टू जीरो एंड सॉल्विंग यू गेट के पी इक्वल टू फोर विच इज अलाउड ऑल्सो बिकॉज के पी शुड बी लेस देन नाइन येस तो के पी इक्वल टू फोर इज अलाउड ओके के पी इक्वल टू फोर इज अलाउड इफ यू वॉन्ट टू कन्फर्म वेदर इट इज अ मैक्सिम पॉइंट और नॉट सो यू कैन स्टार्ट डी टू के आई बाई डी के पी स्क्वायर 
d2 ki by dkp square and that is equal to how much that is equal to the 1 by 8 okay iska again derivative liya to 1 by 8 into minus 2 okay which is negative confirming maxima location second derivative is negative na for local maxima done hai. okay so what should be the answer then They are asking what is the maximum value of the ki. So the maximum value of ki is obtained at kp equal to 4. Okay, is obtained at kp equal to 4. So 9 plus 8 kp, kp equal to 4 minus 4 square. Eventually 9 plus uh, 32, 41. Actually 9 plus 16, 25, 25 by 8. Okay, 25 by 3.125 if I am not wrong. Yeah, 3.125, perfect. 3.125 is the right answer. Correct. The correct answer is 3.125. It's a good question here. Using the concepts of calculus mixed with stability. Okay. Mixed with PI controller. Although there isn't any great role of PI controller here to be honest. But it's a decent question at the end of the day. 2021. It was one of the good question of 2021 EC paper. 2021 anyways we saw you know good control system questions. Good means more in terms of conceptual, conceptual and application based rather than direct. Okay, let's move ahead to the next question. Okay, next question. Here we had uh, one mark, basic question of root locus. The root locus plot of a closed loop system with unity feedback and transfer function kgs, okay, in the forward path is shown in the figure. Note that k is varied from 0 to infinity. It's by default positive anyways. Select the transfer function, okay, that results in the root locus plot of the closed loop system in the figure. Dear. There are five root locus branches. Dekho. One. Dekho. Yaha dekhna. Okay. One. Two. Ye bhi zara left. Three. Four. Five. Five root locus branches and this distance is given to you as one. Matlab this point is equal to minus one. Five root locus. The simple logic is one mark ki tarai solve karna isko. No need to derive it completely. Okay. Five root locus branches. Starts from s equal to minus 1. Starts from s equal to minus 1. Okay. So we can say that s is equal to minus 1 is a pole. Okay. And not only it is a pole, it is a pole of fifth order. By a key bar, wo a key pole 5 times repeat hoga. Okay. That means, that means you should have a term s plus 1 power 5. Okay. But that in the denominator. In the denominator. Okay, s plus 1 power 5 in the denominator, only option number A. Only and only the option number A. All the branches are seen to go towards infinity. So that means there is no 0. There is no 0. Okay, there is no 0 term here. Because if there is a single 0, there should be at least one branch terminating at that 0, rest going to the uh, infinity. Okay? So option number A, observation. This was simple actually. This was simple. If you know even the basic fundas of root locus, this is simple. Okay, next. <laughs> next. Okay, a Nyquist plot. 2021 EC one mark pure conceptual question of the Nyquist plot. Dekhte isko. The complete Nyquist plot of the open loop transfer function GSHS of feedback control system is shown in the figure. If the GSHS has one zero in the right half of the S plane, then the number of poles of the closed loop system that will lie in the right half of the S plane. Now GSHS, is ka information kyu given hai? GSHS has one zero in the right half of the S plane. This has nothing to do with stability. Okay. Now, number one what you will apply is, see remember two points here. Okay. Remember two points here is, okay. N is equal to P plus minus Z plus or Z plus minus P plus. There are the two configuration. There is no information about the Nyquist contour here. Let's assume it. Let's assume it to be by default clockwise. If required, we will change it. Okay. So we use this formula. If you have a clockwise Nyquist path, we use this formula for anti-clockwise path, for anti-clockwise Nyquist contour. Okay. So n is equal to p plus minus z plus. Okay. P plus minus z plus. P plus minus z plus. ठीक है अच्छा ये ठीक है अब देखना what is n what is n 
what is p plus what is z plus there are some standard things to, standard things to note p plus is equal to number of poles of gshs ye fix hai plus i always write to remember it as rhp number of poles of gshs in rhp okay now what is n what is n what is z plus what is n what is z plus okay so if you take the encirclement as of actual origin okay of actual origin okay then z plus is equal to number of zeros of open loop transfer function only number of zeros of gshs in rhp dhyan dena okay but but if you take if you take n which is equal to number of encirclements of the shifted origin critical point number of encirclements of minus 1 comma 0 then z plus is equal to number of zeros of number of zeros of 1 plus gshs okay in rhp zeros of 1 plus gshs means okay you can also say roots of characteristic equation you can also call it as roots of characteristic equation in rhp okay that is what is the case now chalo what is given here gshs has one zero in the right half of the s plane okay gshs has one zero in the right half of the s plane so dhyan rakhna okay let's take case number one and let's talk about the encirclement of origin zero zero so if i am talking about encirclement of zero zero n is equal to and let me try with p plus minus z plus how many encirclements of zero zero everybody please notice how many encirclements of zero zero one encirclement two encirclement both are clockwise both are clockwise ओके बोथ आर क्लॉकवाइज तो अगर जीरो जीरो की बात करें तो जीरो जीरो हैज बीन एनसर्कल्ड ट्वाइस बट इन क्लॉकवाइज सेंस ओके इन क्लॉकवाइज सेंस तो एन विल बी माइनस टू बिकॉज द एनसर्कलमेंट्स आर नोटेड पॉजिटिव फॉर एंटी क्लॉकवाइज एनसर्कलमेंट तो ये माइनस टू हुआ इज इक्वल टू पी प्लस माइनस जेड प्लस जेड प्लस गिवेन है जेड प्लस वन जीरो इन द राइट हाफ ऑफ द एस प्लेन फॉर जी एस एच एस ओके जेड प्लस इज वन but p plus solving it will come to be minus 1 and p plus or z plus these are all counts number of poles or number of zeros in a particular area which may be zero there may not be any pole or zero in the right half plane but it cannot be negative it may be zero or one ye count hai. okay so it cannot be negative okay it may not be negative okay so what you have to only do is you have to try anti clockwise nyquist contour anti clockwise nyquist path Okay, this was a regular assumption using the clockwise path. Okay, so what is this? N is equal to sorry. Here, what we use N is equal to Z minus P. Okay, so N is minus two is equal to Z is one minus P plus. From here, you are getting that P plus is equal to three. Okay, now. P plus is a common to both the definition. Whether you are noting the circlements of zero zero or minus one comma zero, P plus is common. So P plus aga means it is used for both the definitions. Now using the second definition, okay. Let us note the encirclements of minus one zero. How many times it is encircled? How many times it is encircled? Look into this minus one comma zero. Everybody, everybody, please see with me. One anti-clockwise, but one clockwise. Okay. What does it mean? One anti-clockwise and one clockwise. Okay, encircled once anti-clockwise and also once clockwise. एक बारी anti-clockwise, एक बारी clockwise. So what to do? Okay, so what should be the value of n? Okay, once it is anti-clockwise, once it is clockwise. So there is no net encirclement. Net encirclement here is noted as zero. And I will again apply the formula. We know it is now anti-clockwise contour. So n is equal to z plus minus p plus n is equal to how much zero here actually is equal to z plus minus p plus p plus ka value hai three so here 
z plus is also 3. Now, this is the z plus we are actually looking for because question finally asked you what? Question finally asked you the number of poles of the closed loop system. Okay, number of poles of closed loop system means roots of characteristic equation in the RHP. Okay, again I tell you because you have noted the encirclement of minus 1 comma 0. So, what is the z, z plus? Roots of characteristic equation in RHP and roots of characteristic equation in RHP are also equal to the poles of the closed loop transfer function actually. Okay, so one in the same thing. The final answer should be the 3. Option number D. A very good conceptual question. Okay. We are using the encirclement of both minus 1 comma 0 and 0 comma 0 here. Done? Chalo. Let's move ahead to the next question. 2022 EC one mark. Again one mark from Nyquist but this one is simple actually. This one is actually simple. Consider a closed loop control system with a unity negative feedback and KG is in the forward path gain where the gain K is 2. Okay. The Nyquist plot of the transfer function GS is shown in the figure. This is the Nyquist plot. Okay. The Nyquist plot of the transfer function GS only. Yaad rakhna. Okay, also note that the Nyquist contour has been chosen to be clockwise. So, here it is given. No confusion. Assume that GS has no pole on the closed right half of the complex plane. GS has no pole on the complex right half of the S plane means what? What is the meaning of this definition? Okay, this definition simply means that P plus poles of GS means poles of GSHS. Unity feedback, right? Unity feedback. So, poles of GSHS in the RHP is nil. So, P plus is 0. P plus meaning is common as I explained you. Okay. Number of poles of the closed loop transfer function. Okay. Number of poles of the closed loop transfer function. What I am looking for. Number of poles of the closed loop transfer function in the RHP. Okay. That means. That means. Roots of characteristic equation in RHP. Okay, that means it is Z plus. Okay, Z plus. But when Z plus is roots of characteristic equation in RHP, what we consider? Minus 1, comma 0 encirclements. When you are interested for roots of characteristic equation, you have to consider minus 1, comma 0 encirclement. Okay? Okay, acha. Now, this is the Nyquist plot for GS. Okay. What should be the Nyquist plot for 2GS? Okay. If this is GS. Okay. If, you, if, I, if I want to consider for 2GS. I will draw the corrections here only. For 2GS. Only difference is a constant number 2 is multiplied. So that is why all amplitudes are amplified by 2. There is no effect on the phase. Since there is no effect on the phase, the polar plot is not going to be anything rotated or so. All phase remains to be same. Magnitude, every magnitude will be stretched by 2. So this will not be 0 0.4. This will be 0 0.8 now. And this will be 1.6 now. Okay. This will be 1.6 and also... I shall remove this point because minus 1 comma 0 up under jane wala hai. Because if this distance is 1.6, this particular point is minus 1.6 comma 0. Okay, this point is equal to minus of 0 0.8 comma 0. So definitely your critical point that is minus 1 comma 0 comes inside the Nyquist plot. And if you have a look into this one encirclement, one more encirclement. Okay, one by inner, one by outer. So, if I want to talk about this, clearly minus 1 comma 0 encircled twice. Encircled twice and both what we saw is clockwise. Okay, both what we saw is clockwise. So, n will be minus 2. Now, let us use the definition. n is equal to p minus z, p plus minus z plus. In this, they have mentioned that the Nyquist path is clockwise. Okay, yeah, clockwise already mentioned. Okay, so that is why P minus Z formula. So, minus 2 is equal to P plus, which is indirectly mentioned as 0. 
तो z प्लस इज इक्वल टू टू z प्लस इज इक्वल टू टू इज द फाइनल एंड द करेक्ट आंसर z प्लस इक्वल टू टू डिसेंट क्वेश्चन अगेन ओके चलो नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन वन मार्क एंड यू शुड नोट बिकॉज इट्स वन मार्क दिस इज दिस डायरेक्ट फॉर्मुला बिकॉज ऑफ द इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर्म की अपॉन एस वन प्लस एस टी वन वन प्लस एस टी टू ओके वॉट इज द फेस क्रॉस ओवर फ्रीक्वेंसी फॉर दिस फॉर्म एंड इट इज गिवन बाई वन अपॉन रूट टी वन टी टू वी कैन डिराइव इट अप बट दिस इज अ वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर्म वी ऑल नो की अपॉन एस वन प्लस एस टी वन वन प्लस एस टी टू ओके फॉर विच यू शुड नो वन अपॉन रूट टी वन टी टू ऑप्टेन बाय द नाइक्विस प्लॉट और ऑप्टेन बाय द फॉर्मुला एज वेल ऑप्टेन बाय द फॉर्मुला एज वेल एनी वन एनी वन विल डू हेयर आइदर बाय द नाइक्विस प्लॉट और आइदर बाय द फॉर्मुला वॉट एवर एनी थिंग विल डू हेयर ओके सम स्टैंडर्ड रिजल्ट ओके टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी थ्री में कुछ एक दो स्टैंडर्ड रिजल्ट के क्वेश्चन थे तो हैव अ लुक इन टू दिस नेक्स्ट वन नाउ हैव अ लुक इन टू दिस नेक्स्ट वन वॉट इज दिस द असिमटोटिक मैग्नीट्यूड बोर्ड ए प्लॉट ऑफ अ मिनिमम फेस सिस्टम इज शोन इन द फिगर द ट्रांसफर फंक्शन ऑफ द सिस्टम इज हाउ मच What should be the transfer function of the system? Tell me. Okay, it is given to you actually. K s plus z power a, s power b, s plus p power c. Where k z p a b c are all positive contents. Okay, constants होना चाहिए वो. What is the value of a plus b plus c? What should be the a plus b plus c? It is a very simple question. A means there is a zero at minus z. What is the order of it? How many poles at origin? And there is a pole at minus p. What is the order of it? Simple इतना निकालना है. So if I go to this particular, let me take this. Okay, now have a look into this. The slope minus twenty now becomes zero. So there is an increase in slope. The slope of minus twenty and now becomes zero. There is an increase in the slope. Can I say there is an increase in the slope by plus twenty? So this is a zero. How many times zero? This is one zero. Okay, this is one zero. Okay, at omega one. There is one zero at omega one. ठीक है अच्छा. What about this point? The slope is now zero dB per decade. Flat line, okay, but now it becomes minus forty. So this is two poles. The slope reduces by minus twenty because of a single pole. So it is min two poles at some frequency omega two. So two poles at omega two means it should be the value of c one zero. It should be the value of a. Initial slope is minus twenty n. So n is equal to one. Initial slope is minus twenty n. So n is equal to one pole. n is one pole at origin and poles at origin okay it is given by s power b term so b ka value 1 hai a plus b plus c a1 b1 c2 total answer 4 very basic analysis of nyquist plot it is very basic two marks ke liye very easy question very easy question for the two marks bas just somehow they converted to the numerical answer type Okay, what is Z? What is P? That is also clear to you. Okay, what is this omega one? There is one zero at omega one. So omega one is Z. There are two poles at omega two. So omega two represents the P. Okay, that is what it is. Done, Ji. Okay, next question. Let's move ahead to the next question. The state equation of the second order system is. X dot is equal to ax. X zero is the initial condition. मतलब zero input response. Okay. X dot is equal to ax. Okay. Plus bu. They have taken zero input. That then only it is x dot equal to ax. Okay. Then it is known as the x dot is equal to ax. Okay. So what they are now trying to figure out is the zero input response. Okay. Considering lambda one, lambda two are the two distinct eigen values. V one, V two are the corresponding eigen vectors. What is the? It's a standard result, guys. Okay. Don't think it is two marks. You have to derive. These are some standard results again from state space analysis. The solution of Z I R in terms of distinct eigen value and their eigen vectors is given by alpha one e power lambda one uh, alpha one e power lambda one t into V one plus alpha two e power lambda two t V two. It's a standard result actually. We can prove it, but not right now. Okay. Maybe uh, you know I can plan a separate session. session on state space analysis already ek bar marathon le chuka hu but we can have one more uh, such session okay we can have one more such session theek hai chalte hain 
चलते दिस इज स्टैंडर्ड रिजल्ट ओके नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन लेट्स कम टू दिस क्वेश्चन गज एस वन सेकेंड जस्ट वन सेकेंड है ना हैव अ लुक इन टू या डन है चलो सो द इलेक्ट्रिकल सिस्टम शोन इन द फिगर नाउ इलेक्ट्रिकल नेटवर्क बेस्ड क्वेश्चन 2021 थाउजेंड टू मार्क्स ओके कन्वर्ट द इनपुट सोर्स आई एस टी टू द आउटपुट वोल्टेज बी नॉट टी ओके द करेंट आई एल टी इन द इंडक्टर ओके एंड द वोल्टेज वी सी टी अक्रॉस द कैपेसिटर आर टेकन एज द स्टेट वेरिएबल्स बोथ एज्यूम टू बी इनिशियली जीरो तो इनिशियल कंडीशन आर जीरो ओके वॉट इज द सिस्टम यू हैव टू टॉक अबाउट द कंट्रोलेबिलिटी और द ऑब्जर्वेबिलिटी ऑफ द सिस्टम You have to talk about the controllability or the observability of the system. Okay, so this is your input. Okay, it converts the input current source. Let's call the input as U T to the output. Okay, to the output voltage. Okay, let's say you have your output as Y T as always. Okay, now there are two state variables: the current in the inductor. Okay, the current in the inductor. Okay, suppose this is the first state variable, I L T, and the voltage across the capacitor. okay suppose that is the x2t that is the state variable x2t okay now to determine the controllability observability what you need okay you need the state equations i am good nikhil how are you good evening okay you need the state equations and output equations x dot equal to ax plus bu y equal to cx plus du okay so let's try to test it out okay now to get the relation between state variables first we need to solve this particular network okay now uh, if you take the current equation first okay if you take the current loop if you just take up this current loop okay so according to this current loop dekho the current ist okay is divided into the ilt plus irt okay this current okay a part of it flows through the inductor another part will flow through the resistor okay but what is the uh, current through a resistor okay so we can write that so ist is equal to ilt plus current is v by r okay so vrt is divided by r but what is vr because they are in parallel because they are in parallel okay so whatever is this voltage difference whatever is this voltage difference that is common and suppose that is vlt and it is common to both to yahan pe bhi vlt hi likhte hain let's directly write what let us write this vlt is divided by r okay acha at the same time what is vlt at the same time what is the vlt okay what is the voltage across inductor ldi by dt ldi by dt okay ldi by dt what is the value of the resistor resistor is 1 ohm okay so finally what is the equation is is equal to il plus r ka value rakh man rakha to only vl acha l is also equal to 1 henry एल बी वन हेनरी है सो फाइनली इट इज डी आई एल बाई डी टी अच्छा नाउ दिस कैन बी कन्वर्टेड टू आई एस एस वॉट आई एस एस द इनपुट ओके आई एस एस द इनपुट दैट इज यू इज इक्वल टू आई एल ओके आई एस सॉरी आई एस वॉज द इनपुट आई एल इज इक्वल टू वॉट द फर्स्ट स्टेट वेरिएबल एक्स वन ओके प्लस डी एक्स वन बाई डी टी ओके और आई कैन से एक्स वन डॉट डेरिवेटिव इज माइनस एक्स वन प्लस यू x1 वन डॉट द डेरेवेटिव इज माइनस एक्स वन प्लस यू ठीक है ये हो गया वन पार्ट नाउ नाउ द सेम करेंट गाइज ये तो था आई एस सेम करेंट नाउ दिस अगेन मर्ज इज हेयर एंड द सेम करेंट इज नाउ गोइंग टू फ्लो थ्रू दीज टू पार्ट थ्रू द कैपेसिटर थ्रू द रजिस्टर ओके सो सेकेंड इक्वेशन पे आ जाएंगे वंस अगेन द करेंट आई एस टी विल नाउ बी स्प्लिट इन टू द आई सी टी ओके एंड प्लस द आई आर टी ओके Now again, because they are in parallel, whatever the voltage across capacitor, same will be the voltage across the resistor. So now, what is the IST is equal to ICT? Okay, but what is ICT? My state variable is VC. So let us try to write down in terms of VCT. So what is IC? Okay, what is IC? C dB by dt. Okay, C dB by dt. C dB by dt. Plus, what is IR? I is again V by R. Which V? 
वोल्टेज अक्रॉस रेजिस्टर इज सेम एज दैट अक्रॉस कैपेसिटर तो वी सी टी इज डिवाइडेड बाय आर बट दिस इज ऑल्सो वन होम दिस कैपेसिटेंस इज वन फैरेट आई थिंक यस ऑल आर वन यूनिट वैल्यूज गिवन टू मी ओके सो वॉट इज दिस नाउ वी कैन से दैट दिस इज द इनपुट यू ओके दिस इज द इनपुट यू ये हुआ डी बाई डी टी ऑफ वी सी टी वॉट इज वी सी टी इट इज माई सेकेंड स्टेट वेरिएबल एक्स टू प्लस वी सी टी ओके दैट इज एक्स टू डिवाइड बाई आर आर का वैल्यू वन है ओके सो नाउ हेयर यू हैव एक्स टू डॉट वन अगेन इज माइनस एक्स टू प्लस यू ओके सो वॉट इज द स्टेट इक्वेशन नाउ एंड वॉट इज द आउटपुट इक्वेशन अच्छा आउटपुट को भी लिख लेंगे ओके वॉट इज द स्टेट इक्वेशन नाउ फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल what is the state equations you have x1 dot is minus x1 plus u and x2 dot is minus x2 plus u minus x2 plus u or you can write it as x dot is equal to ax what is going to be the matrix say x1 coefficient minus 1 x2 0 first row mein second row mein x1 is 0 x2 is minus 1 so x dot is ax plus input coefficients both are having 1 into u 1 into u to so 1 1 u x डॉट इज ए एक्स प्लस बी यू ठीक है नाउ दिस इज वॉट एस सी एस सी मतलब स्टेट इक्वेश वॉट इज द आउटपुट इक्वेशन देर इज अगल आउटपुट सिंगल आउटपुट केस है एस आई एसओ केस है वॉट इज द आउटपुट इक्वेशन वाई अच्छा वॉट इज द आउटपुट एक्चुअली वॉट इज द आउटपुट ओके वॉट इज द आउटपुट ओके वाई टी विच इज नथिंग बट वी नॉट टी and v not t the voltage v not t same as the voltage across the capacitor vct okay or i can say that y is equal to what is the vct it is my second state variable x2t y is equal to x2 so what is your output equation y is simply equal to x2 or you can write this as y equal to okay how much x ab chaho to isko complete form mein likhte hain i can write this as कॉलम वेक्टर एक्स वन डॉट एक्स टू डॉट हेयर ऑल्सो लेट मी राइट डाउन द कॉलम वैक्टर एक्स वन एक्स टू दैट इज नथिंग बट योर स्टेट वैक्टर ओके सो हेयर ऑल्सो इफ आई राइट दिस इन दिस टर्म्स प्लस ओके सो वाई इज ओनली एक्स टू वाई इज ओनली एक्स टू मीन्स देर इज नो कोफिशियंट ऑफ एक्स वन जीरो एंड एक्स टू इज वन ओके वॉट इज द इनपुट कोफिशियंट जीरो वॉट इज द इनपुट कोफिशियंट इज इक्वल टू जीरो ओके तो वाई इज जीरो वन एक्स वन एक्स टू प्लस जीरो यू ओके प्लस जीरो यू डन है ठीक है सो दिस इज व्हाट इट इज एक्स डॉट इज ए एक्स प्लस बी यू वाई इज इक्वल टू सी एक्स प्लस डी यू ओके वी ऑल नो दैट वी ऑल नो दैट दिस इज योर मैट्रिक्स ए दिस इज योर मैट्रिक्स बी दिस इज द मैट्रिक्स सी दिस इज द मैट्रिक्स डी ओके नाउ वी नीड टू चेक द कंट्रोलेबिलिटी एंड ऑब्जर्वेबिलिटी ओके वी नीड टू चेक वॉट वी नीड टू चेक द कंट्रोलेबिलिटी एंड ऑब्जर्वेबिलिटी सो वॉट इज द कंट्रोलेबिलिटी मैट्रिक्स वी नीड टू फॉर्म द कंट्रोलेबिलिटी मैट्रिक्स इट्स अ टू क्रॉस टू केस okay we need to form the controllability matrix s which is given by b ab the augmented matrix b ab okay now what is the ab b to mere samne hi hai a is minus 1 0 0 minus 1 multiplied by the b which is 1 1 so this is going to be minus 1 minus 1 so my controllability matrix contains b which is 1 1 ab which is minus 1 minus 1 okay determinant minus 1 minus minus 1 determinant 0 okay uncontrollable the system is not controllable the basic kalman's test i am applying okay observability observability matrix v is written as cca okay so c is given to me let me quickly compute ca okay c is 0 1 multiplied by a okay so this part is 0 and then minus 1 okay so what is the v matrix it is cca okay what is the c 0 1 what is the ca 0 minus 1 and once again if you calculate modulus of v because the entire column is 0 determinant will be 0 and hence it is not observable also it is not observable also basic kalman's test so it is neither controllable nor observable neither state controllable nor state observable option number a 
ऑप्शन नंबर ए इज द वेरी करेक्ट ऑप्शन ऑप्शन नंबर ए डन है नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन Again, 2021. So there are two questions in 2021 which are mixed with network and the concepts of control. Okay, the circuit in the figure contains a current source. Okay, driving a load, having an inductor and resistor in series. Okay, there is a load containing inductor and resistor in series and with a shunt capacitor across the load. The emitter is assumed to have zero resistance. Okay, the switch is closed at t equal to zero. Initially, when the switch is open, the capacitor is discharged. Okay, and the emitter reads zero ampere. After the switch is closed, emitter reading keeps the emitter reading keeps fluctuating for some time. Okay, till it settles to a final value. That means it oscillates for some time and it settles to the final value. The maximum emitter reading that one will observe after the switch is closed. The maximum emitter. Acha. Emitter reading will be the you know the reading of the current that is flowing in this load. Emitter is connected with the load. So uh, let's look into this circuit. And this is the one ampere of current. Correct? Ye one ampere hai. And ye one ampere hai, kuch bhi ho. We can just calculate the transfer function to solve it up. So once again, let us say uh, let us say this is some current I S T. Okay, that is the source current entering. Now a part of this current. a part of this current will go to the capacitor and the part of it will be going into the load that is the il okay whatever is the current that is flowing in the load that is read by the emitter <coughs> okay that is read in the emitter okay chalo now what is the value of that il okay what is the value of that il okay what is the value of that il okay you can you can you can talk in terms of uh, s domain directly you can solve in terms of s domain as well ils is equal to what fraction of the iss what fraction of the source current what fraction of the source current tell me now current divider you can apply okay so what is the what is the uh, resistance of this uh, in what is the Sorry, what is the impedance of this network? Voltage divider, नहीं current divider apply कर रहे हैं, so that is going to be one by SC divided by the total impedance one upon SC Z one plus Z two. Okay, तो ये one upon SC यहाँ पे आ गया और यहाँ पे आ गया plus the total load impedance and that is SL plus R impedance of the inductor and this is the value R. Okay. Okay, so current division I have applied. Okay, the current division rule basic. okay mm for respect for that schedule you can check in the study plan only okay in the crash course batch 1 digital is done in the batch 2 also it will come up but when it is you have to check the study plan or uh, drop a mail for the course team okay so what is the transfer function here ils divided by iss and that is going to be solved as if i multiply by sc throughout If I multiply by SC throughout, I am getting one, and then divided by one plus S square LC plus SRC. Yes, so I will just rearrange it. So that is one upon S square LC plus SRC plus one. Or in the standard form, I divide by LC. Okay, divide by LC. IL is divided by I. IL is divided by IS, and that is what is your transfer function here. IL divided by IS and that is going to be one upon LC because the standard format starts with S square. Okay, the standard characteristic equation. So divided by LC. Okay, so that will be S R by L. Okay, R by LC cancel over plus one by LC. And now it is in the standard prototype model as well. It is in the standard prototype model as well. Okay, this is S square. Plus two, zeta omega n s plus omega n square. Numerator is also omega n square. Okay, so DC gain will be one. Okay, the standard prototype model. Okay, so now, now what is the value of omega n square? 
omega n square is 1 by lc. Now I'll start putting the values actually. Okay, L, it's easy to put the values at the end. L and uh, L is 10 milli Henry. Multiplied by the capacitor, which is 100 picofarad. Okay, so this is eventually how much? 10 power minus 2, 10 power minus 10. So that is 10 power minus 12. Shift it to the numerator, 10 power 12. So what is the value of omega n? That will be 10 power 6 radian per second. That is the omega n. Okay, wo omega n square. Tha. Now from here, we can calculate the zeta as well. Okay, so now I have 2 zeta omega n as how much? As r by l. Okay, so 2 into zeta into omega n that is 10 raised to the power 6 is equal to r. What is the resistor given? 5k is divided by the value l that is 10 raised to the power minus 2. Okay. So I have the value of zeta. Kitna ho jana chahiye? 2 zeta 10 power 6 is equal to 5 into 10 power 5 actually. Okay, so 10 power 5 to completely cancelled. Okay, this 10 is left. So 1 by 20. 1 by 20. Nahi, wo 5 se bhi cancel hoga, sorry. So 5 by 10. Uh, point 0.25. 1 by 4. 0 0.25 it is turned out to be 1 by 4. 5 by 20 bach rai, correct. Okay, ji, that is going to be 0 0.25. Okay, now we all know that Okay, the percentage overshoot, the percentage overshoot is e raised to the power minus pi cot phi into 100 percentage. Okay, into 100. Yeah, forget the percentage. Okay, forget the percentage. MP can be taken as e power minus pi cot phi. Now, how do you get the phi? Okay, how do you get the phi? Zeta is known as the cosine of phi. Okay, so what is going to be phi? Okay, what is going to be phi? Cos inverse of this angle. Cos inverse 75 point, 75 point 5 approximately. Seventy five point five degree. Okay, so we'll place this value e power minus pi into cot of seventy point seventy five point five degree. So let's calculate this answer. So 0.44. So what is the overshoot coming up to be? Approximately 0 0.44. Now what is this overshoot dear? Okay, good evening Samya. What is this overshoot? This overshoot is known as the CT max. Output here means what is the output we have taken? Okay, the maximum value of the load current. Okay, so this is known as the IL max minus IL study state. Okay, yeah, IL desired bhi bolte hai isko. Okay, minus IL desired, okay, is divided by IL desired. The maximum positive deviation of the output with respect to the desired value. Okay, this is 0 0.44. Okay, what is the IL max? Wo se aa jayega. Okay, IL max minus the steady state value. Okay, what is the steady state value? It's going to be 1. Okay, because the input is unit step. You can say, you can say a step input. Okay, you can call it as the step input because the input current that is flown is 1 ampere current and at the same time the transfer function is in the standard form. It is DC gain is 0. So, steady state value will be 1. Okay, in this particular format as I explained you earlier also in today's class only, the steady state value is equal to 1. The steady state value is 1. You can calculate by final value once again. Okay, you can calculate by final value. So, this is 0 0.44. So, what is the IL max value? It is 1.44. So it is 1.44. So basically, clearly question mein kya bola tha? Okay, clearly there was a word mentioned in the question that the ammeter current okay, shows a fluctuation and then settles to the final value. And then settles to the final value. That was the description mentioned. It settles to the final value. That final value is equal to 1 here actually. So it is going to oscillate about this. It shows some fluctuations around this. 
okay and during the fluctuation part it goes to the peak value that is 1.44 okay this okay is known as the deviation the deviation div divided by the desired value is known as the is known as the over peak overshoot okay take it done ji done so this part is the this part is the expected waveform okay so the answer is 1.4 already written there okay done so one more good question here network mixed with the concepts of overshoot from the control system and yes guys the 8th october that is the sunday okay you can get a chance okay to appear in the national scholarship test yes if you want to take the next step towards success in gate and want to enroll for the full fledged courses okay of the byju's exam prep the national scholarship test is on sunday in which you can get up to 90% discount scholarship on the gate and engineering services courses based on your performance so prove yourself earn your respect earn your scholarships okay now now tomorrow this is just 4th october tomorrow 7:30 pm on the byju's exam prep app all these activities whether it is a scholarship test or workshop a free live interactive workshop on the byju's exam prep app several 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 thousands and lakhs of students work hard but not everybody is a topper okay so what toppers do okay what is different that makes a topper actually topper because in the beginning everybody is a gate aspirant but few are toppers okay but few are toppers so what are the prime qualities characteristics of a topper okay what are some of the qualities if you also adopt you have the best possible results turning for your favor in gate 2024 know this tomorrow on the byju's exam prep app at 7:30 pm okay guys and yes the, for 2024 students gate crash course is also available complete syllabus coverage okay with the fast track theory revision and the complete questions uh, detailed questions okay important questions with your favorite faculty live classes available recorded lectures study materials practice quizzes and mock tests so okay you can enroll now or you can contact 9241333666 for any more queries about the courses their fees timing structures anything if you want to know about this okay so guys chalo so today's pdf password peak overshoot pe question solve kiya humne so today's pdf password is peak p e a k okay all my pdfs are password protected you will get the pdf in my telegram group okay if you are by chance not connected with me on the telegram let me just take out this time and share it with you yes in case if you are not connected in telegram you can join this link you can join this telegram group and you will get the today's pdf and all other pdfs all other updates doubt discussions exam updates on this telegram use this password for today's pdf peak that's it guys this is rakesh silreja signing off bye bye good night stay safe thank you and take care of yourself